Our help is in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. morning. Today we celebrate the 34th Wednesday in Ordinary Time. The church today remembers St. Saturninus. St. Saturninus was uh, the apostle to the Gauls in early France. And he died in 257 AD and he was known for one of the 70, being one of the 72 disciples of Christ and was placed at the Last Supper, so he lived a very long life and went to France and evangelized them. So, St. Saturninus, for your efforts and your love of Christ, please pray for us today. So, let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. Let's take a moment and confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed Him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the Confidior on page 66. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to do an act of kindness for someone else sometime in the next few days. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing. He has a name written on his cloak and on his thigh, King of kings and Lord of lords. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, it is your will to restore all things in your beloved Son, our Lord and King. Grant that the peoples of this earth, now divided by sin, may be brought together under his gentle and loving rule. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Belshazzar gave a great banquet for a thousand of his lords with whom he drank. Under the influence of wine, he ordered the gold and silver vessels, which Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem, to be brought in so that the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers might drink from them. When the gold and silver vessels taken from the house of God in Jerusalem had been brought in, and while the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers were drinking wine from them, they praised their gods of gold and silver, bronze and iron, wood and stone. Suddenly, opposite the lampstand, the fingers of a human hand appeared, writing on the plaster of the wall in the king's palace. When the king saw the wrist and the hand that wrote, his face blanched. His thoughts terrified him. His hip joints shook and his knees knocked. Then Daniel was brought into the presence of the king. The king asked him, Are you Daniel, the Jewish exile, whom my father the king brought from Judah? I have heard that the spirit of God is in you. 
that you possess brilliant knowledge and extraordinary wisdom. I have heard that you can interpret dreams and solve difficulties. If you are able to read the writing and tell me what it means, you will be clothed in purple, wear a gold collar about your neck, and be third in the government of the kingdom. Daniel answered the king, You may keep your gifts or give your presents to someone else, but the writing I will read for you, O king, and tell you what it means. You have rebelled against the Lord of heaven. You had the vessels of his temple brought before you so that you and your nobles, your wives and your entertainers might drink wine from them. And you praised the gods of silver and gold, bronze and iron, wood and stone that neither see nor hear nor have intelligence. But the God in whose hand is your life breath and the whole course of your life you did not glorify. By him were the wrist and the hand sent and the writing sat down. This is the writing that was inscribed. Mene, Tekel, and Perez. These words mean Mene. God has numbered your kingdom and put an end to it. Tekel, you have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. Perez, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and Persians. This is the word of the Lord. Our response is, give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Sun and moon bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Stars of heaven bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Every shower and dew bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All you winds bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Fire and heat bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Cold and chill bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. <coughs> and may God cleanse my heart and my lips, I may worthily proclaim the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. This is the gospel of the Lord. Please be seated for a moment. In our readings today, as we are getting very, very near to the end of the liturgical year, they get a more and more intense. In our first reading, we hear about King Belshazzar, the son of Nebuchadnezzar, whom we heard about yesterday. And if we remember the statue in the dream, first was the gold, and then the silver, so the kingdom keeps declining, and this is the first step of a decline. And Belshazzar took the sacred vessels and used them basically for a debaucherous party. And God was very, very unpleased. And he basically sentenced his kingdom to end, judged him, and divided the kingdom among foreigners. And that's what God does. He wants us to follow him, but when we don't, 
he will do things to help bring us back to him. And the punishments are not capricious. They're supposed to be curative to help bring us back. And then in our gospel, we hear what happens when we live and preach the truth. We'll be persecuted, led before kings, governors, judges, what have you. And that is because people who are doing what they want do not want to be told that they can't, that they shouldn't do it. If they're not living by the truth, a lot of people don't want to hear that. And even sometimes if we're just living by the truth, that's a threat to them. And they will do what they can to bring us down and destroy us. But Jesus tells us to be firm in his truth. Because he will protect us, if nothing else, in the next life, if not in this one. Because we need to be ready to die living in the truth. Because some suffering here is nothing to the rewards if we persevere at the end of our time. The comfort here is also nothing compared to the sufferings that we will endure for eternity if we give in and compromise the truth here. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we acknowledge Christ our Lord and King, let us offer these prayers and petitions to the Father in his name. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Prime Bishop Anthony and all clergy, that they may listen closely to the voice of the Holy Spirit as they guide and lead the flocks entrusted to their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord heard. For all who exercise authority, that they may serve with the justice and compassion of Christ the King. We pray to the Lord. For those who have drifted away from the church, that the grace of Christ will soften their hearts and move them to return to the sacraments and our Lord. We pray to the Lord. For our parish family, that we may revel in the love of Christ by the depth and extension of our charity toward others. We pray to the Lord. For all the sick and the suffering, especially those on our parish prayer list, that they may turn to the Lord for strength, solace, and healing, we pray to the Lord. For all the personal intentions we, want, we bring before the Lord in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. For all of our beloved dead, especially those written in our parish remembrance list and those who will die today, that they may all rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Loving Father, look kindly upon the requests, both spoken and unspoken, which we humbly bring before you and grant them according to your holy will. We ask all these things through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have the spread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. Now the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. 
cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Lord our God, receive these gifts we offer today. Grant unity and peace to all nations under the leadership of Christ the King. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Out of love you called us to life. You give us our daily bread and the bread of life, and by your protection and assistance you see to our every need. And so with trust, we commend our day to your fatherly care. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints in the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy sacrifice and mass continues with Eucharistic prayer 2, which is found on page 82. We have thanks to you, God, our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your Son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, make a covenant, and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread, he gave you thanks, and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, This is my blood, which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Together, calling then his death and resurrection to mind, we offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your Holy Church now and forever and ever. Amen. On page 95, let us pray together with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. 
May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let's say together the first communion prayer found on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord. The body and blood of Christ. Those who are joining us online, please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Come fill my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken is true. May the gift I have received give me healing and strength now forever. The Lord reigns as king forever. May the Lord give might to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have eaten at the banquet of immortality and have been restored to fellowship with you. May we be made strong for your service and come to reign with Christ the King. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, you cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let's join me now in a prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood is to understand, to be loved is to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. 
things and dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for Holy Mass today. As a reminder, we will not be having Mass tomorrow because I have to pick up some things in Chicago for our food sale. And if you have ordered food, please remember on Saturday from 10 till 2 is the pickup time. We pray that you have a wonderful day. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, remain in the state of grace. Let evil wherever you find it spread joy wherever you go. Please join me in singing, Holy God, we praise thy name. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee, infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign, infinite thy vast domain.